Okay guys, we're back. Uh, this time we're gonna install the subwoofer to subwoofer an amp to the stereo and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. I'm gonna try to explain it the simplest way possible and um, let's just go from there. Okay, well, after you take off your stereo, you're gonna have a blue or white cable or solid blue. That's gonna be for the control from the head unit to the amp. What that does is when you turn on your head unit, it's going to turn on your amp. So that way your amp's not always running when the car is off. That's the first thing that runs to your amp. The second thing you run on the amp to the stereo is the RCA, which is a, a white and red. And it doesn't really matter how your RCA's look. They might be different colors, blue, black, you know, white red as long as you match them to the corresponding ones in the back uh shouldn't really matter so the red i'm gonna put it on the red and then the black on the white and then you make sure you do the same on the stereo so you run your rcas white and red and the blue cable to your amp red and white and the control goes right here those are the only two things that you're going to run from the head unit to the amp and this red side would go to where it says battery or power and where it says ground you want to put your black cable which that you're going to ground to anywhere in your vehicle that makes contact with metal so we're going to start with the power cable to the amp obviously we're not going to connect it till the end but you want to find holes in your engine bay that run into the into the vehicle. That way you can run the cable through the vehicle on the inside. So you're going to have grommets like this. Yeah, cables that run from the engine to the inside. Try to find anything like that to run your cables. If not, you're going to have to drill a hole on your metal frame and run it through somewhere in your vehicle but I'm pretty sure you'll find something. And to run it under your carpet, just remove the trim that you have on the inside. So this was right here. Let's cover this part right here. Let's just run it through the grooves in here. So I ran it through the driver's side, the side of the trim. I put my ground cable to this bolt that runs to the frame. Uh, scratch up the surface so you could expose uh, bare metal and get good contact with the ground. So I ran it from the dash to the driver's side under the carpet, under the trim. And that's where I'm gonna put the amp. So we connected the power to the battery on the red side. So I connected the blue, so when you turn on the ignition, your radio is going to turn on. And the amp should turn on also, so we're going to check that right now. Okay, I got me some speaker wire. So uh, just make sure when you plug them in, your positive runs to the positive, And the black, which is negative, runs to your negative. And now we test it. Okay, so we're 